This morning we're going to talk about recovery of R22. These older units, mostly over five years old particularly, are going to be R22 units. This particular unit is a train. The compressor fell this morning. So we're going to recover the freon. I'm going to go through this quickly. This is what we call a recovery tank, 50 pound. This is what we call the recovery unit. This is a suction line. This is the liquid line. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to our gauges here. We're going to take the suction line, hook it up. This is the blue one. This is the liquid line. We're going to hook it up. This is the red one. And these are actually industry standard. If you look at this, you always have blue for low and red for high. Now we're going to open up the uh, train valve. The key thing here is you just got to have a path to everything going to the tank. So you want to make sure everything's totally open. My technician has already opened up the valve here. He, he, uh, it's already open because it was under uh, working condition. Okay, so now we have a path going to the gauges two times. We're going to come out with the service hose to the filter. We always want to put a filter on the recovery unit. It's going to go through. It's going to come out here and go to the tank. All the thing we're going to do, we're just going to make sure all the valves are open. That's it. This is a real quick. This is a real quick explanation on, on picking up a recovery unit. If you've got any questions, just give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning and Electric. It is mandatory with the EPA to recover R22 and to recover most freons now. Please share. Please comment and please subscribe to our videos. Thank you.